Say go say what way go Sarah Young Yutz. I'm a first year student at the Ungwe Home Midwives Collective Apprenticeship Program, and this is my mother Deborah. She's going to show us how she makes pasta. Hello, I'm going to be showing you how to make three different types of pasta. So we're going to do a regular pasta, a poor man's pasta first. <clears throat> I just use not quite a full cup of flour. We make a little well, a little salt, just a pinch and some warm water. I use, um, for the amount of flour that I used, it's good for probably two people. It looks like a small amount, but once it's cooked, it expands. And the next thing you do is you just gotta do it. You gotta knead it. What you wanna do at this process now is just to get the, the what do you call it, to stretch. Gluten. This takes a good five minutes. I remember one of the things I was taught to is you can tell your dough is ready when you when you push your hand here. If you watch how your pops right back and when you push that, it doesn't pop back, so it's not ready. When it pops right back, your pastas your pasta is ready. Some people when they're finished they'll wrap it up in um saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator not me i just cover it with a dish in a bowl and let it set you gotta let it rest for at least a half an hour after you're done with this process oh it's right back just like this so this one's ready i usually put it on a little plate <clears throat> And I just put a bowl on it. So this one's the poor man. These are, you put it in boiling water, salty boiling water, drop it in there loosely and wait for three minutes and then it's done. It takes a while to figure out when it's done, but once you get that process down pat, it's okay. It's great. We have the salt, we have the flour, we have two, one egg plus one egg yolk. This is a nice one. If you want to, um, um, because it has to be left out for half an hour, I would put this in the fridge because it's raw eggs. This one tastes more like uh, egg noodles that you would buy in the store. So say because I'm a family of five, mm -hmm. how much flour would I use? I would use two cups. And how many eggs? Um, I would probably use four eggs and two yolks. Yep. Yep, see it bolts back. Oh, it's right back. I'll just cover this one. You can see the difference in the colors. Uh -huh. This is more creamier, this is more whiter, and this is the yellow egg.
these are just fine because you can feel the moisture under the dish so you know it's keeping it moist okay we'll come back in a half an hour you can use a regular rolling pin but they have what they call the french rolling pins the the center is wider and it gets narrower as you come out with it those are great for pastas trying to get it how thin um as thin as you want because it's going to get a little thicker now if i was going to make a ravioli with this i would keep it i would keep it a little thicker because what you're going to do is you have to cook the meat uh so pre-cook your meat not all the way um your rice mix your hamburger or your pork whatever a little bit of rice and then you could cut these into squares put your meat in there and put your top on and or fold it over put put your meat on here and here and here fold it over cut it and then just make sure you squeeze it done and it's throw it in your boiling water and you have a ravioli While you're doing this, rolling out your dough, you should be boiling your salt water. Because you want your water to be a rolling boil when you dump this in. Do you have to take them apart? Yeah, you want to take them apart because they won't cook on the inside. And you kind of want to, don't leave them, well, you know, you want to make sure they're spread out a little bit. Because dry them up or just a little bit. They'll dry fast, you don't want them too dry. Another thing you can do too, my hands are a little dry, but you can roll them between your fingers. My hands are too dry. If I had a little bit of water, it'll roll and you can get like those swirly noodles. And then when they'll dry, they'll dry swirly like that. Those ones there, you'd leave that out a little bit longer to dry. Maybe a couple of hours and they'll dry like that. But we're not doing that today. There's so much things you can do with this dough. This is my daughter, Isabella. So you'd make the other two the same way? Mm-hmm. You make the other two the same way. Salt water is nice and boiled. And then you want to put these in loosely. The time is for three minutes. I forget. You don't have to um, strain it. Rinse it. Mm -hmm. There it is. There is your egg noodles. Mm -hmm. There's three different types of noodles. Now, while for watching and oh no.